What's up guys, my name is Alex and in this video I just want to talk to you about an important concept in trading known as averaging down. Now this can be looked at as a good or bad thing depending on your circumstances and by that I mean if you take a horribly executed trade, you're not managing your risk, you have no stop loss in place, you have a very bad um, entry and planned exit position, then when it continues to go down on bad news or whatever is driving the price down and you're losing and losing and losing, adding more to your position will hurt you uh, more so than benefit you and by that I mean why would you add more to a losing trade when you have no confirmation that it's going to go up but on the other hand if you have a great trade going you're managing your risk you have a great entry you have a plan a stop loss in place and everything's going good for you if a stock's continuing to go up and let's say pulls back to let's say the EMA line the VWAP or something of the sort depending on what indicators you guys use if it builds a support and you guys have confirmation that it's going to continue to increase then averaging on your position or adding more to your position on that little dip right there will really increase your margin to profit and give you more gains overall. So I honestly had a poorly executed trade this morning that I'm not proud of and I do like to go over my losses as well as some of my gains. Now I did make a little bit on this trade, I'll go over all of that, but this was a very poorly executed trade and I wanna to talk to you about why I took this position, what I learned from it, and what I won't repeat on my next trade. So I'll show you guys how I was able to average down on this trade and continue to actually gain when it hit my stop loss. So let's jump in and talk about that. All right, what's up guys? So we're over here in the chart for crude oil and I've been trading a lot of futures lately with NASDAQ and the S&P 500 as those charts have been really easy to follow and very volatile lately. So we've been profiting like crazy with those. But today what sparked my interest in crude oil is the fact that OPEC, um, if you guys know what OPEC is, you know they have a very big influence in oil, obviously. So if you guys trade crude oil, you will see a lot of headlines pop up around OPEC. So they essentially just lowered their demand forecast for oil over the next few years. So that was seen as bad news on oil, even though it's increasing like crazy today. I don't know if some new news came out or what. I know today's Tuesday and the uh, API crude oil, crude oil inventory numbers come out later, which will drive the price up or down, and we should see which direction it's going overall for the next week. But um, I don't know what's driving the price up right now. I ended my trading around 10 o'clock this morning, so... Um, we'll have to see on that. I'll look more into it and I'll update you guys. But anyways, I did alert this um, this trade in one of my trading communities and we did profit on this overall run. So the trade that I took happened essentially around the 8 to 10 a.m. range. So around here, you can see it didn't really do much but consolidate, but you did have a couple major moves. Now, the trade that I took this morning was on SCO, which is the inverse of crude oil. So every time crude oil goes up, SCO will go down and vice versa. So when crude oil goes down, SCO goes up. So um, I believe it, was, it would either be this move right here or this move right here that I made my money on this morning. And we'll go ahead and look in the charts for that. But I want to talk to you about how I was able to average down and increase um, my gains on this position from this trade recap this morning. So let's move over to SEO and look at the chart on that. All right, so as you can see right here, I actually took my position in pre-market. I like to take a lot of pre-market positions based on the direction that it's gonna go during that day. And this was a very poorly executed trade. I will admit that and I'll show you guys why. So let's zoom into the bigger picture. So starting off, I took a position of 300 shares at 18.6 on SEO. Yes, SEO. And then uh, continued going up. I did not buy the very top of that candlestick right there. Although if you could see right there, it did gap up. There's a gap between that candlestick right there and that one. And essentially you should never buy a gap up because a lot of times it's going to close the gap, which it did right there. And I really should have bought in at that opening dip, but I did not think that I would even be taking this trade into open. So I took my position right there. It went up. It essentially uh, looked like it went near, you know, 1875 and bounced off of that, which was going to serve as a resistance. And it really did serve as a resistance up there, as you can see where I uh, closed my position right at 
1875 and I'll explain the exact entry and exit position in a second. So it went up there and it pulled back to the EMA line. When I saw it pulling back to the EMA line, I went ahead and took another position of 200 shares at 18.58 to go ahead and actually lower my average position. So I had 300 shares at 18.6 and then I had 200 at 18.58. So my new average position in that case is just the average of those two positions with the amount of shares that I have. So my stop loss in this case was 18.5 and I broke my trading rule, which you should never do. You never break your rules of trading. I should have taken the loss right here at this opening dip, but that's exactly what that is. So there's an entire trading strategy around the opening dip where um, people will take profits or you know it just sells off and builds a support right at open. So right here, this dash line is 9.30 a.m. when the market opens. So had a bit of an opening dip right here. So crude oil started going up right when the market opened. But overall, there was bad news on oil this morning with the demand forecast going down. So I did know that crude oil should be on the lower side of things today. Although that did not play out like that, as you can see with the insane um, increases in the charts. And that just goes to show that the stock market is always random. But um, it went down here, it built a support. I went ahead and moved my stop loss to, I believe, 18.40, which I never recommend doing. But like I said, I knew this was going to be an opening dip. And it, if it did go any lower than that, I would have just taken a significant loss. But strong green candlestick right here, an engulfing candle, it took out this candlestick and this candlestick and it continued rising up. It built a support. All right, so it rose above the EMA and it built a support right on the VWAP. This red line right here, it built a support on there. I have an entire video explaining what the VWAP is if you guys wanna check that out. But that's just another trading indicator. It helps you guys out with your trades and it helped me to confirm that it was going to build a support right here. But as you can see right here, it went up and the momentum was going. Volume was picking up, as you can see down here, and it topped out at, what was the high of the day? 1876. So I actually sold all 500 shares at 1874 as I saw it topping out and losing momentum. And as you can see right here, uh, it wasn't even nearly in the overbought conditions, but the MACD wasn't exactly in favor of this trade. So sold the position at the top. I really did get lucky on this one. This did not play out in my favor. I was not strict on my trading plan and I did not execute this the way that I wanted to. As you can see right here too, it actually was the high of the day right there and it did nothing but sell off for the rest of the day and it's still continuing to go down. So averaging down, I essentially, if I would have sold my 18.6 position at 18.74, uh, uh, it wouldn't have been as much, even though it really was a two cents averaging down. It's just the basic concept that I wanted to go over in this video. This isn't a great example of it. This is actually a very poor example of a trade, but I wanted to just show you what averaging down was since I actually included it in my trade this morning. I know I didn't go into too much detail on this, so if you have any questions about averaging down or trading in general, just go ahead and drop them in the comments below or DM me on any of the provided platforms, and I'll help you guys out the best way that I can in that aspect. So by now, I hope you guys know the basic concept of averaging down and how you guys can implement this strategy in your own trades. I also hope you guys identified the mistakes that I made in this trade, and hopefully you guys don't make the same mistakes yourselves. If you got anything out of this video, go ahead and drop a like to help me out and subscribe as there's plenty more to follow. I have two trading resources linked in the description below. You're welcome to check out either one of those. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.